Yo, BJ, a very basic Bible. Let's go look up somebody's name. I'm going to look up. This is a pretty common name. Very common name. I think in the Bible. Seth. Let's see. I say very common. There's 11. <laughs> Adam, Seth. Enosh, Kenum, how that's first chron oh first chronicles one because like I said in a oh like I said uh, uh first chronicles one has genealogy stuff from other places in the Bible like Genesis so Genesis four twenty five Adam was intimate with his wife again and she gave birth to a son and named him Seth for she said. God has given me another offspring in place of Abel since Cain killed him. So Cain killed Abel. And and uh, she gets another, Eve gets another son. And Eve says, yay, Adam was intimate with Eve. Okay. So that's who Seth is. Seth is uh, born to Adam. So you got Cain, Abel, Seth. 426, a son was born to Seth. Also, wait a minute. In verse 425. She gives birth to Seth. Then in verse 426, Seth gives birth to... Okay, this is a good thing. Just because a verse comes after the verse before, it doesn't mean they are immediately chronological. Obviously, she didn't give birth to Seth, and then two minutes later, Seth gave birth to... So, between verses 425... In verses 426 of Genesis, there's, I don't know, 15, 20 years. Because the, the boy, you know, no, they got married younger in olden days, okay? So a boy could get married at 15 and then, you know, to a girl that's 13, 14, 15, they have a baby, could happen. Uh, we'll say 15 to 20 years. <laughs> between one, yeah, that's kind of neat, huh? So, but the, 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 the time span between verses. Okay, Genesis 5, 1, the line of Seth. This is documented, the document containing the family records of Adam. On the day that God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. But what about Seth? Genesis 5, 3, Adam was 130 years old when he fathered a son in his likeness, according to his image, and named him Seth. Adam has a son that's like him. That looks like him is like him. Named him Seth. Up here, we that's what we got. Four twenty-five, and then look at this. A son was born to Seth. Also, he named him Enosh. So, if five three talks about Adam, is five four going to talk about Seth and Enosh? Adam lived eight hundred years after he fathered Seth, and he fathered other sons and daughters. So we're skipping five, 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 six. Seth was 105 years old when he fathered Enosh. Oh, 105. A century and half a decade. Sin, have a decade. So we go up here. 425. Eve give birth to Seth. 426. Seth gives birth to Enosh. In between Genesis 425 and 426. If we look at 5, 6, Seth was 105 years old when he fathered Enosh. 105 years in between Genesis 4.25 and Genesis 4.26. People are like, where did all of Adam and Eve's kids come from? Where did all these kids? 105 years between those two verses. That's a long time to be having other kids. And yes, they married their brothers and sisters at first. Okay. <laughs> uh, Seth lived 807 years and after he fathered Enosh, and he fathered other sons and daughters. So Seth's year, life lasted 912 years, then he died. So Genesis 5 is kind of like a genealogy, but it's got other stuff in it. You see, it talks about father and other sons and daughters and how long he lived. Most genealogies have some things, details, but not as many as that. Numbers 11. Numbers 13, 13. Sether. Son of Michael from the chat. Sether? Huh. Sether. Okay. 
First Chronicles 1 1. Adam, Seth, Enosh. Dude. First Chronicles, the first verse, first chap, first chapter, first verse of First Chronicles has a genealogy in it. First Chronicles 1, chapter 1 through chapter 9 is a genealogy. What where do you start? You start with Adam. Where's Cain and Abel? Uh-oh. Seth and Enosh. Okay, evidently they're looking, they're they're going through Seth. They're not going through Cain. Cain kills Abel. Abel's dead. Cain surely had other sons and died. In fact, we're told he did. If we go look back up, he had a whole city. But we're not tracing the family line through Cain. We're evidently tracing it through Seth. You had four kids. You have all of them in your genealogy. But if you were looking to do something very specific and particular, you might only have, you might, you might say, uh, uh, BJ, if I had a son named Ralph and a son named Tom and a son named, and, and a daughter named Sarah. Ralph, Tom, and Sarah. I don't know. I've never thought about naming any of our kids any of those names. We don't have kids anyway. Okay. If, if, if Ralph then has these awesome, say, supermarket chain. And then and then he has a, he has five sons and two of them go into this awesome supermarket chain. And a hundred years down the road, the Allen supermarket chain. Okay, let's go look back at uh let's go look back at the history of the Allen supermarket. BJ Allen started it. His son Ralph, this, that, and the other. So BJ to Ralph to the two sons. Now BJ did have other kids, yes, but BJ to ralph what did what did tom and sarah they they went off and did something else they, they played they went off and played football she was a cheerleader he played football for the i don't know bingles i don't know um <laughs> we're tracing it from bj to ralph to ralph's two sons to eventually you know the supermarket chain okay that's what's happening here it seems because seth had other sons and daughters you look up here uh where is it at? 5-3, an image of likeness in Seth. Father Seth, Adam had other sons and daughters besides Cain, Abel, and Seth, I'm sure. But Seth lived, he fathered other sons and daughters. But we're just talking about Enos, it seems. Right here, son of Enos, which is probably a different spelling for Enos. This is a New Testament now, Luke 3.38. Luke 3.38, son of Enos, son of Seth, son of Adam, son of God. I thought Jesus was the son of God. Adam was created by God. This genealogy is going backwards, you notice. Enos might be somebody else, but I'm assuming it's a variant spelling. I mean, because look, Adam, Seth, Enos in First Chronicles. Numbers, Seth, or we don't know who that is. Um, Genesis 5, 6, 5, 4 through 8, fathered Seth, Seth fathered Enosh. We go back to Genesis 4, 25 and 4, 26. Seth also named him, had a son named Enosh. Seth and Enosh, Seth and Enosh. Okay, Adam, Seth, Enosh, Enos. Now, if we wanted to prove my theory, we could go look up who Enosh's son is right here in Genesis 5, 6 through 8. And in Chronicles 1, 1, we could look up in context. And then we could look up Luke in context. We could look that up. Why don't... Let's go see. First Chronicles 1, 1. Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah. Okay. Go back. Right here in context. Let's see this genealogy in Luke chapter 3. Methuselah, Enoch, Jared, Mahalalel, Canaan, Enos. It matches. I'm not sure if Canaan. Like I said, some genealogies, they skip stuff. Let's look one more time now. First Chronicles in context. Canaan. Ah, Adam, Seth, Enosh, or Enos, Kenan, or Canaan, Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech. That matches, First Chronicles 1-1, and through 1-3 matches. Luke, 
37, 38, but it's backwards. Lucas, for whatever reason. Methuselah, Enoch, Jared, Mahalalel, Kainan, Enos. One more thing we're going to look at real quick. Genesis 5, 6. Who? Okay. Who did uh, Seth live 108 and he fathered Enosh? So next, I bet they're going to talk about Enosh. He seems to be the important one. Who they're tracing the line through. In, co in context. Enosh was 93 years old. Uh, Seth lived 807 father Enosh. Enosh was 90 years old when he fathered Kenan. Remember, there was Kenan with a C. There was Kenan with a K. There we go. We're going to go... Uh, Six Kenan, Kenan Mahalalel, Mahalalel, Jared. Those are familiar names. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. We'll go ahead and Enos is Enos, uh, Kenan is Kenan, or however you pronounce it. And those are evidently the people who they're tracing the family line through. They're all made in the image and likeness of of their father and in the image and likeness originally of God, right? But evidently we're looking through that family line where for some reason they're deciding to look at those people and the family. The other people just as important, just as loved by God, I'm sure. I know the answer. It's about Jesus. Jesus comes from there. They're tracing it to the Messiah, Jesus. Pretty cool. But that's a bonus on the end if you watch this whole thing. What is it? Been 10, 15 minutes? About a Enos, 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 Enos. What the hell? All right, guys. We'll see y'all on the next very basic Bible topic or any Bible.